You know how when you buy a car that's just a little too expensive, but it's really nice, so you do it anyways? Well, to do it, you have to get a loan from the bank. You tell them they can have the title to the car until you pay off that loan. That way, if you don't pay the loan, they can come and take your car. Or what about if you're getting ready to buy your first house? Well, for most people, you definitely need a mortgage. You put up a down payment of 20%, so that way you can borrow the other 80% and then make payments on it. Well, the money for the car and the money for that house come from a bank. They lend money knowing that you will pay high interest on it, and they give that interest to their lenders. Well, of course, the bank takes their cut. Well, Aave is the cryptocurrency version of that bank. Hello, and welcome to Whiteboard Crypto, where we break down difficult crypto topics into easy stories and examples, so that way you can better understand them. In this video, we are going to explain what Aave is so simple that your grandpa could understand it. With that being said, what is Aave? Aave is a decentralized finance application application that allows people to lend and borrow cryptocurrencies in turn for getting and paying fees. Aave is basically peer-to-peer -peer lending using cryptocurrencies as the asset that is traded. However, Aave uses an algorithm to determine lending rates and to match the lenders to borrowers. Aave also has an associated Aave token, which is an Ethereum token that powers the governance on their platform. In short, the idea of this token is that token holders get to vote on changes to the application as time goes on. Around 2017, there was a team of developers who were creating something called ETHLEND. They essentially created an MVP platform that matched lenders to different borrowers. And it wasn't automatic. The borrowers had to wait around for a lender to meet them. Two big problems that they faced were liquidity, which is the amount of money in the system, and actually matching borrowers to lenders. So during the start of 2020, they overhauled ETHLEND, creating Aave. The creator said the cryptocurrency bear market was the best thing to help them pivot their product. Aave utilizes smart contracts, which are just pieces of code that get ran automatically based on certain conditions to run the platform. Now, if you're new to smart contracts, you should definitely go watch our video on it, where we break it down really simply using stories and analogies. Back to Aave. This time, instead of using peer-to-peer -peer lending, where a borrower had to match with a lender, Aave used a peer-to-a-smart contract method. So lenders could deposit money into a smart contract and earn interest, and also, borrowers could deposit their collateral into another smart contract and borrow from any smart contract they wanted to borrow from. They used new algorithms, in the smart contracts to determine the loan rates based on how much liquidity was in each smart contract. That was really confusing, but by the way, Aave is a Finnish word that means ghost. They stuck with this for the branding because when you lend your money or borrow your money, it's all anonymous. No banks regulate it, nobody else can see what you're doing, and specifically, you don't know who is on the other side of that smart contract. So that's how Aave was formed, but let's get into what they do. If you go to app.aave.com markets, you can see the current rates for borrowing and lending. For example, if you look here, you can see USDT, which is Tether, is offering a pretty decent deal. And then you can also see that Ethereum is offering quite a low rate. This is because Tether is a stable coin and it won't move much in price, but Ethereum is very volatile at the moment. So with lending comes borrowing. And so how this works is you lend your crypto to Aave and they pay you interest on it. We won't get into the technicals of how that actually works though. However, with lending comes borrowing. So after you deposit some of your crypto to Aave to earn interest, you can also decide to borrow against it. Let's move on to over collateralized loans. Whenever you borrowed the 80% of your house to make payments on it, the house was collateral. This means if you couldn't pay the loan back, the bank would just kick you out and take your house. In short, you gave them collateral that they can take if you don't pay. Well, crypto loans don't necessarily work like this. If you want to borrow crypto, you have to be over collateralized. This means if you want to borrow $100, you must give the bank $120. For most people, you might think this is crazy. Why in the world? world would you give someone more money than you want to borrow, especially if you already have that money? Well, imagine this. If I gave you $100 worth of Ethereum and you lent me $80 worth of Tether, which is a stablecoin pegged to the US dollar, you'd use that $80 for a few months and then you decide to pay it back and get your ETH. Well, by then, Ethereum has doubled in price, and so you cash out your $100 of Ethereum, but you actually get $200 worth of value because Ethereum raised in price. This is a double-edged sword, though, because obviously has something called a liquidation threshold where they will automatically sell your collateral to cover the loan
loan that you have created. This way, investors never lose money. Let me use an example. So you put up $100 of Ethereum, and what is called the maximum loan to value of Ethereum is 80%, which means you can borrow 80% of that $100. So you decided to borrow $80 of Tether. Well, if that Ethereum price drops to more than 82.5% of its value, which is the liquidation percentage, Aave will automatically take your Ethereum and pay back the lender. However, you get to keep that $80 that you borrowed. Speaking of loans, we were actually wondering if you wouldn't mind giving us a loan of one like. You can have it back later, but right now, we really need likes so that we can grow this channel and that our hard work is rewarded. Sound good? Well, let's move on to the next topic. Using Aave, you can create a very leveraged position, which is essentially borrowing on steroids. And to understand this, we're going to go over an example really quick. So let's say you have $100 of Ethereum. You deposit your Ethereum to Aave and withdraw $80 worth of USDC, which is an Ethereum stable token. You take that $80 worth of USDC, go over to Uniswap, and then trade it out for more Ethereum, which you then go back to Aave and deposit. So now you've deposited $180 of Ethereum, but you can still take out 80% of that $80 that you deposited, which is $64 of USDC. So now you take that $64 of USDC, trade it for more ETH, and then add it back to your account in Aave. So now you have $244 of Ethereum that you've borrowed against, even though you only had an original $100. So if ETH goes up 10%, you gain $24.40, compared to if you didn't create that leverage position, you would have only gained $10. However, if the price of Ethereum goes down, all I can say is you're screwed if you pass the liquidation threshold. Next up, let's talk about paying those loans back, because you might be wondering how you pay back those loans that you borrowed. Well, since you technically put up more than 100% for the loan, you just have to log into Aave and repay the loan every now and then just a little bit. Aave loans aren't like traditional loans, where you have to pay it all back by a certain date. Here's what the official Aave website says. Now the question is, when do I need to pay back the loan? Aave says, there is no fixed time period to pay back the loan. As long as your position is safe, you can borrow for an undefined period. However, they say, as time passes, the accrued interest will grow, making your health factor decrease, which might result in your deposited assets becoming more likely to be liquidated. The last thing I want to talk about in this video is something that Aave offers called flash loans, and it is a new feature that they have that is actually one of their main selling points. We've actually been working on an entire video for flash loans, so you should consider subscribing if you've made it this far in the video. In short, a flash loan is a cryptocurrency loan where you can borrow up to millions of dollars without putting up any collateral. Here's the catch though, a flash loan <laughs> must be paid back in the same cryptocurrency block that it was borrowed in. Well, you might be wondering, why would you need a loan that you have to pay back almost immediately? Well, let's say you could buy Ethereum at Binance for $1 and sell it to Coinbase for a dollar and a penny. Each time you did that, you would make a penny. Imagine if you use millions of dollars to do that millions of times. This is one example of why you might want to take out a flash loan, even though you'd have to pay it back in around 13 seconds if you use the Ethereum network. Now, there's a lot more to flash loans, but this video is about Aave, and we've covered almost everything there is to know about it at this current point in time. So as we end this video, we want to thank you for watching our videos and supporting our channel. And most of all, we hope that you learned something. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we hope to see you in the next video.